Saladin, in terms of history, was the Sultan of Egypt and Syria. He led his armies against the invading Crusader forces and fought against Richard the Lionheart in the Third Crusade. Uh, in Crusader 2, in our game, uh, you'll experience this sort of clash of forces during the second single player campaign, which puts you in charge of the Arabic faction and retraces the Saladin's quest to take back his lands from the invading Christian uh, hordes. Saladin is an effective AI opponent and one of the most difficult to defeat in the game. He is quite quick to build up his economy and attack the player in you know, considerable numbers for early on in the game. You know, he, he likes to use mainly Arabic faction troops, so Arabic swordsmen, Arabic archers, horse archers and slaves. You know, his economy isn't the most efficient one in the game, but for what he lacks there, he you know, makes up for his ability to trade for goods and weapons, meaning that he can build up an attack quite quickly. Um, I suppose one of his few weaknesses is that he is you know, slower to build up his castle and his defences. So you know, a good strategy is either to you know, prepare for his inevitable attack or to beat him to the punch and attack him before he attacks you. A favourite strategy of the Saladins is to use hordes of horse archers to harass the player as scouts or as you know, skirmish parties. He's sort of likely to move them about more than other lords in the game, making them a bit more of a threat than they would otherwise be, but his preference for Arabic troops at least means that you know what's going to be coming. He uses more of them, uh, more numbers, to compensate for this lack of variety, but you know, at the end of the day, at least you know what to expect. When it comes to his castle, the Saladin prefers using troops over traps, so don't expect too many pitch ditches or anything like that, but expect plenty of Arabic archers stationed on top of the walls and they'll be ready to sort of take out your first line of attack. So a mix of crossbowmen and either crusader or Arabic archers are generally the best way to handle an approaching force led by the Saladin and defend against him. You'll want crossbowmen for their firepower, for their ability to take out armoured units, but you'll also want the archers in there for a good rate of fire and using their arrow volley ability you can also, you know, put a dent in his forces that way. If you can successfully soften up his attack with this sort of mix of ranged units, take out his front line or maybe take out some of the siege equipment as well, it shouldn't be too hard to charge in and you know either finish off his forces with your army leading them beyond the castle walls or just by using your regular castle defences if you've got enough ranged units on the walls and the towers to, to finish them off. Saladin is quite a balanced character. You know, once his defences are set up, uh, they're usually quite good and he's by no means a walkover. You can use classic horse arch tactics, so you know, that does work. The Crusader 1 tactic does work again, but you'll need greater numbers than usual. Um, the Saladin's lack of traps means that he'll have a greater number of arches on the wall, so you need to match those numbers. One way to take advantage of his lack of traps is to use the units that you would normally send in as cannon fodder to you know, absorb damage and set off the traps like slaves and convicts. Use these guys to either set fire to his buildings outside his castle or to just use them to take down the walls. You know, it's always easy to do this with siege equipment, but you know, it's, it's cheaper to produce slaves and uh, other units that can take down the walls and, and sort of expose his, his lack of traps. Um, either way, you should probably expect fairly heavy casualties with the Saladin making up for his lack of traps with you know, a, a hell of a lot of archers and uh, quite a few bits of stationary equipment too.